Hello. Hi. <laughs> this is very exciting. Hi. Um. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> um. Thank you so much for doing this. First off, very exciting. <laughs> Um, so we're doing a media documentary about what it means to be a New Zealander because we think that because New Zealand's such a multicultural country that it's difficult to like figure out what a New Zealander is because there are so many things that make up us as a country. Um, so obviously your song Aotearoa um, sort of that's exactly the kind of thing that we're focusing on in the documentary, but. Um, what would be really great is if you could just talk for a bit about like uh, the influence, um, how you came to write that song. Um, I actually wrote it. Um, I was driving up Christchurch to Nelson in the South, you know, South Island, and it, it's uh, quite a beautiful drive. And I was just looking around and while I was driving at the kind of the trees and the mountains and the hills and, and um, you know, and I passed like three cars in, in the space of two hours and I was thinking, this is really amazing, you know, we have quite, you know, we have quite a beautiful country and it's, it's amazing the islands that we live on and it just started me thinking about all that kind of thing and, and I mean, I guess that very thing, what it, what it means to live here and what it means to be, you know, in New Zealand, that. and um, I was kind of inspired by the fact that we kind of don't, in some ways, like you were saying, we don't really know, and I am personally of the belief that that's okay, we kind of can make it up as we, as we go, and that's not a crime, like, things grow and change, and I guess in the song, that's why it said, you and me, we are a New Zealand, because I think we can choose. We can choose how we want this to be. We can choose how we want this to roll. We're quite a young country, you know, in the scheme of countries in the world. You know, we're quite young. Like, um, you know, and I kind of think that we're not really multicultural compared to a lot of other countries. Like, we're still quite bicultural, I think, which personally I think is something that's really great and we can build on because I feel like. The, the, the time spent to our land is very important, like the first people of each country. That's also an exciting development in the history of the world and the, the people who were here and the people who came and the people who came. This is all us building on each other and I think if we can do it nice and well and good and kind, that would be a real change. That's <laughs> a big deal about it. <laughs> Awesome. Um and what do you think makes somebody a New Zealander? Do you think there's anything specific? Um, I guess you probably, well, you vary. I guess you either have to live here or have been born here. Maybe. That's it. I don't know. Okay. And um, what, uh, what do you think about the way that... New Zealand as a country stood up and helped the people of Canterbury after the Christchurch earthquakes. I think that that's what we need to do more in New Zealand because we're quite a small country and Christchurch is, even though you know geographically I'm not in Christchurch and I felt, you know, like I'm in Wellington, I still kind of felt like I was there for the people in Christchurch and friends and family that I had there because we're quite connected. It's not like, you know, some countries are so massive, like, you know, Russia, for instance. It takes a couple of days to get to the other side of that country, you know, a week. And in New Zealand, it's not like that. So we're kind of a little bit more, I think we're more connected to each other. And, I, you know, I mean, personally, I travel around New Zealand quite a lot, but there's nowhere I haven't been and I really like that about New Zealand. And I think that... Things like that and the like the reminder that like New Zealand is really supporting and helping each other, that's the beautiful thing and it's so great when it happens and it's so sad that it happens under in tragedy. Ah, very interesting. Um, and how do you think New Zealand is represented overseas? Um, 
Well, when you travel overseas, <laughs> you know, you're from New Zealand, people go, either go, ah, oh, all play, rugby, or ah, oh, Lord of the Rings, or people also now, but more clear them, people go, hey, fly the Concord. And then other people go, hey, the haka. So, you know, <laughs> overseas people, or they say, hey, you have lots of sheep. So overseas people have very kind of tiny little kind of thoughts about who we are and what we are like. And that's quite funny because, once again, there's not that many of us. So I think that people overseas just see what we present to them and we just present a high profile thing. But also New Zealand is full of lots and lots of really interesting people doing lots and lots of little things and that's really cool and important too and it's nice to be able to travel and, and kind of show a bit of your own art or show a bit of your own music to other cultures and have that connection. Awesome. Um, and finally, um, what is it about New Zealanders that makes us so unique? Well, we're no more unique than any other country. <laughs> Every country is unique. Every person is unique. So, I wouldn't say nothing. Okay. Um, cool, I think that's all I need to do because it's only like a five minute long documentary. Um, oh. But thank you so much for doing this and I'll have to email or scan you a release form to because you need to sign one to say like so that if we show it to our class you can't be like actually you didn't sign the form you can't show it to anyone ha <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah I might uh, I'll email that through Paul I guess because I've got his yeah this is Paul he got some money okay thank you so much <laughs> Cool project. I hope you win. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.